This is Mike from Minimal 3D Pay, and today I'm doing a follow-up video on my previous video about Cura 5.4. So let's go ahead and get started. Previously, we discussed the new tree support in Cura 5.4, which looks like it's pretty cool. It's easier to remove, but I decided to go ahead and print it and see what happens. Now I went ahead and downloaded the recommended test print for the tree supports. And just to point out several of the things I did, I think it's a little silly to have a test print that if I just do supports touching the build plate here in Cura, it takes 23 hours to print. So one of the first changes I made was I selected the model and then reduced it by 50%. Reducing it to 50%, made it significantly quicker. I mean, just check my settings. I went ahead and I'm doing 10% infill cubic subdivision. And that puts me at about, I think it's gonna be five or six hours. So it puts me at five hours, 33 minutes. With the supports touching the build plate, it puts me at about six hours, 16 minutes. Now it's just the estimate in Cura. And I went ahead and printed based on these settings. Now I've printed with the tree supports touching everywhere in both 5.31 and 5.4. And let's go ahead and just compare the differences between the two. And I think you'll find it interesting. So looking over here in Octoprint, I have uh, print history turned on, print job history plugin. And if you look, this is the 5.3 print, five hours and 36 minutes. Looking down here at the 5.4 print, it took six hours and 11 minutes. So those new tree supports, although they're supposed to be easier to take off, actually took about 35 minutes longer for this print. And to me, that's pretty significant. Now I may run some experiments to see how significant that time is. But again, we're looking at a 35 minute increase in time for the same print using the two different tree supports. Now, depending on how easy it is to remove, I mean, is it going to make that big a difference? So let's switch over my desktop cam and we'll take a look at the supports and then also take a look at the weights. So I have the two prints. I've written 5.31, 5.4. You can see definitely the 5.4 is a lot less supports printed, but because they're not continuous, it took significantly longer to print by 35 minutes with the same print, same settings. Now I'm going to switch over to my scale, turn them on, make sure it comes up to zero. And 5.31 is 27 grams. 5.4 is 29 grams. So it turns out 5.4 is actually used more filament. Not only did it take longer, it used more filament. So now let's try removing this. Now, the one thing I did do was supports everywhere. And so let's see if we can get these to remove. Let's grab my pliers. I'm really not thinking these are too easy to remove. I'm going to switch over to 5.3 and see how that is. Now, this is more one continuous piece. So let's see if we can get this off any easier. Now, for me, it appears 5.3 is coming off slightly easier. Mainly it's because once I get it started, I'm only pulling one piece. Now, with that being said, if we start looking up in these edges, I'm not really getting everything at once. So at least in my case, I'm not really thinking this is significantly easier to remove. Or 5.3 is tough to remove. But looking over here at 5.4, I'm not really, I mean, I'm wrestling this to get it off. Um, so to me, I'm not really thinking either of these 
are that easy to remove. Now, maybe it's a settings issue, but for me, I'm still thinking I might stick with the tree supports in 5.31, even though they're not easy to remove either um, because it's quicker and oh, maybe that came off easy. Um, it's, e it's quicker and uses less filament. Now, some of these are starting to come off. Maybe it's just the way I'm doing it. Maybe I need to get my fingers behind these, pry them off. You can see well, this is a smaller model. And we can also see now somewhere I'm bleeding here. So somehow I've cut myself on the supports. So now I'm bleeding out. Uh, so that's just sort of funny. Now, maybe if I printed this full size, it'd be all right. And this would be much easier to remove. But again, it's 23 hour or over a day, depending on what my settings are, to print this, to print this model. So this really isn't a great test print for this. So what I may do is try doing another video and find a better model to test print, one that doesn't have a bunch of sharp edges that I cut myself on, and see what I, I can find. But for right now, I'm not particularly impressed with the 5.4. Now I am I am impressed. That there was a lot of community involvement in this, but at least for this smaller model, I'm not seeing a huge difference on how hard it is to remove this stuff. And it also worries me that 5.4 took significantly longer, again, by 35 minutes. And so, I mean, there, there's my concern. So, again, that, that's sort of my results. So, just my final thoughts. So, my final thoughts. For right now, I think, as I mentioned, I'm going to stick with 5.3.1. And I'm, like I said, not, I have problems with 5.4 because at least right now, with this particular model, it takes 35 more minutes than this model. And I don't think it's going to take me 35 minutes more to remove the supports. And it's also using more filament. Um, now, two grams. It's not that much, but it's just something to think about. So, so right now, like I said, I'm just not that um, into the 5.41 tray supports. Now, what I may do is do a future video where I play with some settings and see if I can get this any better. I'll also see if I can find a better model. I'd really like to find one that's not as detailed as this, that I could do full size, that isn't going to take basically one day to print. I'd rather have something particularly for experimentation that takes five, six hours, something like that. But anyway, that's my thoughts. Thanks for joining me today. This is Mike from Minimal 3DP. I want to thank you for joining me as we take a look at, at the different versions of Cura. I appreciate your time. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. And don't hesitate to email me at minimal3dp at gmail.com. I look forward to your questions. If there's anything I can do to help you, let me know. Hope you have a great day.